So, let us try and understand this. Some questions that were put nearly about uh, 20 important questions, overall about 50 questions which are there to try and gauge the mood, it was quite exhaustive. It took at least 15 minutes on an average to complete this questionnaire. So, that is why these are personal interviews, but computer aided personal interviews. Let us look at the first question, let us try and understand. The first question is, and let us try and understand, who is most capable as the next Prime Minister? So, mood of the nation or if I were to say janta ke man ki baat, who is the most capable as the next Prime Minister into his third term, seeking his third term ladies and gentlemen, 10 years down the line, 60% lead towards Prime Minister Narendra Modi. 21% have said Rahul Gandhi, 9% Mamata Banerjee, 9% Arvind Kejriwal. 60% of the votes nearly, 59% to be exact, say Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the most capable as the next Prime Minister. Well, uh, I think, uh, let me just turn this story around. I was around. about to ask you, Rahul Chuchakar, <laughs> agree, disagree. <laughs> let, me, let me turn this story around. Rahul Gandhi should actually feel quite encouraged at a national level. I mean, look at those numbers, 21%. Uh, in comparison to Modi, of course, he's nowhere in the race. 30, uh, you know, there's, what, what is it, 30, 30 odd percent. But just look at this. In India block, he is two and a half times more than anyone else. Of course, Kejriwal and Mamta are not actually pan-national leaders, yeah. but, Rahul Gandhi will feel, but Rahul Gandhi will feel encouraged. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just moving yeah, a little yeah, away. Yeah, no, no, you don't need to be feel, sorry. You feel Rahul, Rahul Gandhi's image has changed yeah. or has Let it... Look, point. there's still a wide gap, 60% and 20%. Oh, yeah. But still, I mean, has, has his image improved in the last couple of years or...? I mean, this is small consolation, no? <laughs> that you're, you're doing better than Kejriwal or Mamta Banerjee. Mamta Banerjee is only contesting 40 seats. Yeah. K. Jival is not even contesting two dozen. But it seats. makes the case stronger, Javid Bhai, uh, for perhaps the India Alliance to have set aside their egos and perhaps engaged in a more tactical ground game. They should have had understanding. No, but look at it the other way. And I, I am saying, despite contesting only in 40 seats, Mamata Banerjee has 9% approval rating. That's true. And, and, that and uh, less than two dozen seats were Arvind Kejriwal, he's he up to 9%. Rahul Gandhi, pan-India leader, is over the, since 2004 till now, has come up to 21%. Can yes, I make a no. larger point? I want to respond to what Rahul was saying earlier. See, Rahul Gandhi's approval rating for the last five or six years has hovered in every survey between 17-18% to 20-21%. Even when he started his Yatra last year, it went up by around, in all the surveys, up by around 2-3% to <coughs> uh, before the Karnataka election and then came back to the same level. In, in general, this is in the same ballpark as the Congress vote share, roughly. Uh, in, in past elections, yeah. which is around 17-18%. Yeah. Yeah. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, the Congress went below 20% for the first time. It's never recovered. Hmm. It's been in this ballpark. Rahul Gandhi is somewhere around there. Modi is somewhere upwards of where the BJP vote share is. And this is not a surprise, these numbers, because the problem for Rahul Gandhi is he's never been able to break the ceiling of 21-22. He needs to be at 28, 29, 30% to make okay. a difference. Here is a trick question to Umeji. Umeji, there is a sample that was done sometime earlier before Ram Lala. And that was a comprehensive one, nearly 3 lakh people spoken, uh, If correct me if I am wrong, more than 3 lakh people spoken to. Were the numbers different in November 2023 compared to February 2024? Numbers were quite uh, comparable. I wouldn't say they were vastly different. They were quite comparable. Hmm. Quite comparable. I don't see any significant difference between uh, the numbers in the first round and the second round. So, PM's approval rating was nearly 60% and Rahul Gandhi was still about 21%. Slightly lower. So slightly lower. Are, are, are slightly you, lower. So, are you saying, are we to believe that Ram Mandir hasn't made much of a difference? That even if Ram Mandir no. was not there, the numbers would have been... On the we, prime we have minister. that question, by the way. Ah, we do we have, have that, that question, question in the survey. But we'll, the we'll Prime Minister's approval rating has not... Ram Mandir has not increased or decreased drastically the Prime Minister's approval. So, for all the effort, it's made no difference to no, his that, that should be already. That should be the concern for Nai Yatra and Bharat Jodha of Javed Singh. His rating is Lala 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 what people Ram Lala was not over the But there is, there is another story yeah. in this. It's the Kejriwal story. Hmm. Now, Kejriwal sees himself as the lead sector yeah. outside of the Congress, saying that, look, I have actually two states under my belt almost equaling the Congress party, his being stuck at 9% after, what, a 15-year run hmm. in politics in will be a matter of concern because he sees himself yeah. as the only one challenging in the long run. 
Hmm. That is going to be the biggest so sort of... So, I think now, we can, we can go to the, the next question, which is which is why I think the, the it explains to a great extent the Modi era, because the competition is between Modi and Rahul Gandhi. I think the next yeah, question largely, is Yeah, so largely, even on. this one says 60% PM Modi, 20% Rahul Gandhi, 1% uh, plus minus, let's take that. But Modi versus Rahul, who's the better leader, PM Modi or Rahul Gandhi? Now,